Hello, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. Today, I'm going to talk about something that, well, I can't think of anyone I've ever worked with who has thought about this as they look at franchises and as they get really close to buying a franchise. But before I get into that, please subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and you will be notified whenever I create and publish a franchise video. So what is it I'm talking about here? It's something that if you're looking to buy a franchise, it's something that you're not thinking of right now. And it's something that you really can't anticipate. And it's about feelings and fear. Specifically, the moment that you're staring at your 25 page franchise agreement, franchise contract, which stipulates everything you must do as a franchisee to stay on good terms with your franchisor, along with everything the franchisor has to do. But you're not really thinking about what the franchisor needs to do uh, to support you as a franchisee, and maybe even the back of your mind. But what you're thinking about is your responsibility, your obligations. And uh, I got to tell you, you know, it's one thing to write a check for $40,000 or $35,000, or if you're looking at a master franchise situation, maybe $100,000. It's one thing to write that check to the franchise company, but it's quite another thing to, where is that, sign that 30-page franchise agreement. And let's just, let's not mince words. It is a franchise contract. It is a contract. It's usually 10 years in length. And I promise you, whether you are already a multimillionaire or if you're just uh, an above average earner with a pretty good net worth, you're going to be nervous. I mean, you're really going to be nervous. Uh, I had a gentleman once very early in my uh, franchise advising career who told me that uh, he called me right after he signed his franchise agreement. It was for a, uh, it was for express personnel. And he called me, said, man, I was definitely sweating a bit right before I signed that franchise agreement. And I said, I, I understand. Uh, it is nerve wracking. Uh, it it's just a feeling you're not going to be able to describe to someone very well because it's really an internal thing. But when you get that pen out, remove the cap and stare at that franchise contract, which ties you into the franchisor for 10 years, you may hesitate a second or two or a minute or two. Heck, you might even have to leave the room before you sign that agreement. And here it comes. You sign the agreement and whew, one of two things will happen in your mind. The first thing is, what did I just do? Am I like insane? <laughs> or I am pumped, let's rock and roll. Or maybe a combination of both. Here's my point. Until you physically take out your pen and sign that franchise agreement, Number one, you're not a franchisee until you sign it. And number two, um, you need to, you need to expect, um, some feelings to creep in that maybe you're not used to. Um, if you haven't been afraid of something for a long time, I promise there is going to be fear that sets in right before you are signing that franchise agreement. I just wanted to point that out to you. It's not a bad thing. It's not a good thing, but it's a thing and it's something you need to be prepared for. So. Prepare to be nervous and full of fear when you're staring that franchise agreement, that 10-year franchise contract, when you're staring at it and it's kind of staring at you uh, at the same time. You'll be able to sign it, I'm confident, but you're going to be nervous and you may even sweat a little bit. I just wanted to tell you ahead of time because I feel it's better to know ahead of time what you're going to be going through, especially with something as big as buying, owning, and operating a franchise. Thanks for watching this video. More to come. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava.